If you work with format codes in Excel, you know how crucial it is to format them correctly. Well, in this video, I'll show you the tips and tricks to effectively use format codes using Excel's text function. Hi there, welcome to Excel Demi, where you can learn to use Excel and solve Excel VBA related problems. I am Ishraq Kader, and in today's video, we'll be discussing how to use text function to format codes in Excel. So, let's get started. In this video, I'll be showing you four examples of how you can use the text function to format codes. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Let's consider the fruit sales dataset where we have the fruit names, the unit price, the weight in kilogram, and the total price. We obtain the total price by multiplying the corresponding unit price and the weight in kilograms. For our first example, we'll use the text function to add a text followed by a currency symbol, thousands operator, and two decimal places in the total price column. To do this, move to the E5 cell, press equal, start inverted comma, type total price then a space close the inverted comma insert ampersand operator type the text function the text function takes two arguments first is the value argument for which we will multiply the c5 and the d5 cells next we will specify the format text argument for which start inverted comma insert a dollar sign followed by three pound signs a comma, again three pound signs, a full stop, followed by two zeros. Close the inverted comma, now close the parentheses, press enter. Next, use the fill handle tool to copy the formula into the cells below. And just like that, we've applied our custom formatting. For our second example, let's assume the list of phone numbers dataset, which contains the names, the given phone number, and the proper phone number column. In this case, the given phone numbers are not formatted correctly, so we want to fix their formatting and get the proper phone number in column D. To apply the correct formatting to the phone numbers, enter the formula into the D5 cell. Now let's break down this formula. Here we've used the text function, which takes two arguments. First is the value argument, for which we will select the given phone number in the C5 cell. Next, we have the format text argument, which checks if the phone number is less than or equal to seven digits, in which case it inserts a hyphen between the first three and the last four digits. However, if the phone number is more than seven digits, then the first three digits are enclosed in a set of parentheses which represents the area code. Then in a similar fashion, the function inserts a hyphen separator between the next three digits and the last four digits. Press enter. Now use the fill handle tool to copy the formula into the cells below. And that's it, we've successfully formatted the phone numbers. Here we have the list of employee ID dataset containing employee names and their ID numbers. In this scenario, we want to add leading zeros to the ID numbers which have fewer than 7 digits. To apply leading zeros, navigate to the D5 cell, press equal, type text. For the value argument, we'll select the C5 cell. For the format text argument, start inverted comma. Insert seven zeros, close the inverted comma, and then the parentheses, press enter. Drag the fill handle tool to copy the formula into the cells below. Finally, the IDs with fewer than seven digits have leading zeros. For our final example, we'll consider the list of products and delivery date dataset which contains the product names and their delivery dates. Here we want to combine 
the text and their delivery dates in a desired format and return the result in column D. To combine the product names and their delivery dates, go to the D5 cell, press equal, select the product name in the B5 cell, insert ampersand, start inverted comma, type delivery date is, insert another ampersand, type the text function, for the value argument we'll select the delivery date in the C5 cell. For the format text argument, start inverted comma, type mm for the month, forward slash dd for the day, forward slash, lastly four y's for the year. Close the inverted comma, then the parentheses, press enter. Use the fill handle tool to copy the formula into the cells below. And that's it, we've combined the text and the date. Let's say we want to get the month number using the text function. So move to the B4 cell, press equal, type the text function, followed by the month function, and then the today function. Close the parentheses. For the format text argument, start inverted comma, press mm for the month, close the inverted comma, and then the parentheses, press enter. Here the text function converts this month number into starting numeric value of an Excel date, which is the 2nd of January in the year 1900. So ultimately the formula returns the incorrect month number, which is 01 for the month of January. To get the correct result, we'll have to combine the month and the today functions. Move to the B5 cell, press equal, type month, followed by today, close the parentheses and press enter. For example, at the time of recording, it's April. So now Excel returns the correct month number of 4. We can also combine today's date and the current hour using the text function. To achieve this, move to the B4 cell, press equal, type the text function. For the value argument, we'll use the today function. For the format text, start inverted comma, type DD for the days. Close the parentheses, insert ampersand, start inverted comma, type days. Again insert ampersand, type the text function. This time for the value argument we'll use the now function. And for the format text we'll type HH which represents the hours. Again insert ampersand, start inverted comma, type hours. Press enter. And we've successfully combined the date and the current hour. If we try to enter codes with leading zeros, Excel removes them automatically. So how can we avoid this? We can simply format the cells as text before entering any data. Then Excel will store the values as codes. To do this, move to the B4 cell, click the Home tab. In the Numbers group, click this arrow. This opens the Format Cells dialog box. We can also use Ctrl plus 1 shortcut key. In the category, let's choose text and click OK. Now, if I enter ID number with leading zero, Excel no longer removes them. Don't forget to download the practice workbook from the video description. Try it out for yourself. It's a great way to improve your Excel skills. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any queries, suggestions or feedback, leave a comment down below. For more information, you can also visit exceldemi.com. Also, to see more helpful content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you next time. Bye!